We've got new developments this morning on several developing scandals that are facing the Obama administration. The latest, the Justice Department secretly obtaining phone records of Associated Press reporters and editors. NBC's Justice correspondent Pete Williams has details on that. Pete, good morning. Welcome to New York. Thank you, Matt. Good morning. Members of Congress from both parties are already saying they want to know more about this unusually broad government effort. The AP disclosed the tracking itself, revealing that federal investigators were checking on phone numbers used by nearly two two dozen of its journalists. The AP says it's been notified by the Justice Department that investigators secretly obtained records on more than 20 separate phone lines used by its reporters and editors last April and May. The letter doesn't say why, but the timing suggests it was to find out who leaked details of a highly classified effort to foil a terror plot. Officials are telling us the CIA thwarted a plot by an al-Qaeda branch in Yemen to detonate a bomb on a U.S.-bound jetliner using a powerful explosive. At the time, FBI Director Robert Mueller strongly condemned the leak. A leak like this is taken exceptionally seriously, and we will investigate thoroughly. According to AP, among the lines tracked were office and personal numbers of AP reporters and editors, including some of their home and cell phones, and the main number used by its reporters in their workplace in the U.S. House of Representatives. There was no actual listening in on calls, AP says. AP CEO Gary Pruitt says it amounts to serious interference with AP's constitutional rights to gather and report the news. Advocates for journalistic freedom agree. The fact that the subpoena was so broad, so many phone lines over a two-month period, and they made no attempt to negotiate to get any kind of information beforehand is outrageous. A former CIA spokesman says leak investigations are demanding, but he's surprised by the scope of this one. It tells me that this is a very significant case in the government's eyes and that they're willing to accept the heat that they're going to take from the news media in order to track down the leakers. The Obama administration has been more aggressive in chasing leaks than any previous one. A spokesman for the U.S. attorney in Washington who's doing this investigation says that prosecutors considered alternatives before subpoenaing the records and believes its actions strike a balance between protecting press freedoms and administering the criminal laws. Savannah? All right, Pete, thank you so much.